In this video, we are going to look at the Power Automate condition action. So when you have a flow and you want to add a condition, such as if this and that, what you'll do is you'll add an action and select condition, which is a control. And now you're able to add in values here. And then you have the option of the list here contains is equal to is greater than is less than etc and then you can enter any value in here and you can draw from dynamic content from the rest of your flow and then you have the option of adding additional rows of your condition which is in this case if we add an additional row it's automatically going to apply the and condition and if you want to change that you can change it to or and then additionally you can add groups. So you could have three or conditions where the third condition is a group. So you could add a condition here of two and conditions. So these are gonna be or, or this, or this, or this. And if it's this one, it's going to be two different conditions here in a group. And I wanna show you what that looks like. So if we go over to this flow here that I already have set up, I have this condition where this um, there's two rows and it draws on dynamic content from some earlier actions. And in this case, we have an account region from Salesforce is equal to EMEA. And account subregion is not equal to UKIM. So what I want to do is I want to um, put this condition together with this condition because basically how it's set up is if no, then another condition is going to run. But I don't want to have so many conditions. I'd rather keep them all together. So is there a way to put these together with these? Well, Let's just say that if I wanted this, because these are all and conditions, this is an and condition, these two have to be together, these two rows, these also have to be together. So if I were to just add a group, I can't simply change this to become an or, because what I need is this needs to be and, and then it would be and this or these two rows. So in order to make that happen, I need to actually make this into a group. If I click on the little ellipses here, there is an option for make group, but I can't select it. Well, the reason I can't is because I need to actually check these boxes first. Then I can do this and make it a group. Now I'm able to add both this condition, this and condition of these two rows and this and condition of these two rows here because I'm able to split this into a group. So in that case, I need to change this to or, and then I can add my condition down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So this is going to be account region is equal to a back. And, and in this case, you can type in any um, values into these fields as well as first one too. So if I add a row, I can type something in here. It doesn't, it can just be text or numbers, right? It doesn't have to be dynamic content. It all depends on what you're trying to do. So my second condition in this group is account region from my dynamic content, excuse me, account subregion. So I'm gonna grab account subregion and I have to take a peek, what was I doing down here? Okay, in this case is equal to, so that's already selected and then it's going to be as equal to a meta. So now I have two groups and that's how I'm able to add a group. If you don't see that option initially, all you need to do is check these and then you can make it into a group, which we already did that. So now if you need to delete a group, you simply click on the ellipses there and then 
you can do delete and you can also, there's also the ungroup option, right? So you made this a group, but now you're gonna ungroup it. So now I ungroup that. And then I can delete in the individual rows as well. And then you also see there's this option to move up and move down. So if we wanted to move this group up, we could do that. If we wanted to move this individual row up or down, we can do that. So there's a few different options that you have there. So now I no longer need this down here, but before I get rid of it, I wanna make sure that I'm tracking what it is I'm actually doing. So I'm gonna copy this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and delete this because I no longer need that. And that's super helpful because this is actually a flow that sends an email if these conditions are, are true or not. And I have an email here if yes, and if no, but I had this condition down here and then it sent an email, then that means I have to actually maintain the same email twice. Now I don't have to do that. Now I just got the one condition here with the two groups and it's gonna send an email. So that makes it a little bit easier to maintain. So another thing I wanna do is rename this so that it all makes sense here. So I'm gonna paste from below. Now it's going to be condition. Count region is email, it, excuse me, is email excludes subregion UKIM. So that's what this first one is doing, this first group. And then I'm gonna add or count region is APAC and subregion is IMETA. So now it's all makes sense. And apparently I already have that name, so I'm gonna to have to come up with a different name. Um, so let's go back here. Rename. And also you can only have so many characters up here too, I believe. So um, in this case, let's do or we don't need to add another account region in there. So we can say account region is email exclude subregion UKM or APAC and subregion I met a, and just in case it kicks me out again, I'm gonna copy this. Let's hit enter, duplicate or invalid name. So it's again, it's saying it's invalid because the title is too long. So what we'll do, we'll just play around with this until we get it really. Um, make sure this is the right one. Yes, it is. Rename. And we'll shorten this to region. Exclude subregion. We can do not subregion you get him. We want to have that or in there. Or APAC and subregion. I met it. So We'll see if that's still going to be too long. And if it is, we'll come up with something else. Okay, that one took. Excellent. So um, another way, of course, of doing this is adding notes. So the can I always rename my um, actions because I want it to be some a uh, quick snapshot of what is happening. But you can also actually add notes. So if we go oh, add note here, I'm going to paste this back in here. Um, so basically, the note can kind of be a more detailed explanation since there's not such a small character limit on the notes. So region is EMEA, um, exclude, exclude, excludes subregion UKM or a 
comet region is APAC and subregion is IMETA. Let's add a comet region, is EMEA. And then let's actually say excluding. Okay, so I think that's good. Anyway, enter, saves that. Puts it right there for you. So it's very um, convenient when you have like more complicated conditions. And by no means is this super complicated, actually. I mean, you can get really complicated condition, but the more complicated condition you have, it might be helpful to kind of spell out what it is you're 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 doing here, at least for the sake of others who are um, maintaining this flow, or at least looking at this flow. All right, thanks everyone for watching. Hopefully you found this helpful. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.